Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi. I'm a consultant at Fertility Plus and Fertility Courses. So today I'm going to talk to you about a common question. Does repeated egg collections or retrieval of eggs lower the egg count or AMH? And this is a question which is often asked. And what is the answer? So there was a study which was done uh, where they looked at repeated oocyte collection and oocyte removal and looked at the levels of AMH. We know that AMH is produced by granulosa cells. It tells us about the long-term reserve of the ovaries. It does show a minor change in the intracycle. And remember, you are only collecting eggs from the follicles which nature has presented. So you're not disturbing the long-term reserve of your ovary. So they looked at the collection and looked at 36 women who underwent 167 repeated oocyte donation cycles. And what did they look at? They looked at an age group of 29 to 30, three or more repeated cycles, and they measured the AMH test. And they looked at the AMH, which was not changing. And it was very much similar from starting from uh, the first to the sixth cycle. There was no decrease in AMH in that time frame. So what we can safely say is repeated ovarian stimulation is unlikely to reduce the ovarian pool of primordial follicles. Primordial follicles do not possess receptors for FSH. So the small follicles are not affected by FSH. And the concept that we may accelerate the process of ovarian aging, we still don't know much about it. So if again, one of the patients says, will repeated IVF decrease my count at present? The answer is no, it does not. It is safe enough to recruit follicles from these ovaries and your egg count, which is a long-term egg count, remains the same. Thank you very much.